During the final year of the haunted attraction inside the Walkie Norse Hotel, the paranormal activity escalated in ways we never thought possible. A week before opening night, myself, along with the owner and a friend, were on the third floor walking through the rooms, making final preparations. When suddenly the atmosphere changed, walking down the long corridor in the dark, we should have felt alone, but we didn't. There was pressure all around us, to where even the voided spaces that we could see with our eyes seemed to have something occupying that space. The darkness that surrounded us, you couldn't escape it. And the presence wasn't a good one. All three of us agreed on that. October 10th, it was the first night of the haunted attraction and the room that I acted in, the love triangle room, felt horrible. The heavy presence that consumed the third floor seemed to concentrate only in that room. The owner even noticed it and said something was off. October 11th, it started again. I don't know why I didn't pray immediately the night before. I guess I just chose to ignore it. But a close friend of mine walked into the room and she immediately picked up on the dark presence. She couldn't stay in there long, so she left the room. And she noticed as soon as she crossed the doorway from our room into the hall, the presence lifted. Once out of the room, she said a silent prayer to God that the evil force within our room be driven out and not allowed back in. Oddly enough, downstairs, at the same exact time she was praying, I was praying to the same prayer for the same result at the exact same time. It wasn't planned. Looking back now, maybe it was, but not by us. When I returned upstairs and entered the room, the presence was gone, completely. More than that, there seemed to be a good presence that replaced the bad one. Before, the room seemed to suck the life out of you. But now, everyone who entered it was filled with energy, upbeat, and in a positive mood. It also had a safe feeling that it never had before. Like once you entered there, the rest of the bad stuff in the hotel couldn't bother you. My friend said the same thing when she came back into the room. It was one of the best nights for our group in the haunted attraction. Unfortunately for the rest of the hotel, that was not the case. Multiple events would happen that night. Many people feeling very uncomfortable and feeling sad and oppressed and scared for no reason. In the guillotine room, multiple people were talking to a spirit called Emily, which I knew in my heart was a demonic being imitating the presence of a small child who once strolled the halls of that hotel years ago. It did this as a way in an open door while they were communicating with Emily the spirit pulled on someone's jacket and the smiley face was drawn in the hay on the floor where no one else was standing and the entire group knew that it wasn't there before every single room including every floor had electronic malfunctions all night issue after issue except in the love triangle room I lost count of the amount of people that saw shadows pass through and lurking in spots to where they knew no human was at the time it was the most active night during all the years of the haunted attraction throughout the rest of the hotel Chaos ensued, 
except in two places, the music hall and the love triangle room. The room my friend and I prayed for just hours before. The evil forces seemed to run amok and harass everyone in its path all throughout the hotel, except for two areas to where they clearly could not enter. I wish I could say things got better from there, but they didn't.